Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today. What I'm going to bring you is a Bradford City versus Barrow vlog. Now just before we get into today's video, if you could drop a like on it, let's try and go for 70 likes on today's video. That will be massively appreciated. Subscribe if you are new as well. I am trying to hit 5,000 subscribers for the end of the season. So if you could subscribe, that will be massively appreciated. Thank you so much for the spot on the South End vlog. That's got over 500 views and like 75 likes. So thank you so much for the spot on that. But today we're looking to pick up another three points. Our first home game, I believe, of 2021. We're at home to Barrow. There are a couple of places below us in the league table. I think we're 18th and they're 21st. If I am not mistaken, they might be 20th. I'm not too sure though. But yeah, we're playing Barrow at home today. I'm going to go with a 2 0 to Bradford. I'm going to go with Danny Rowe and Finn Cousin Dawson to score the goals for the Bantams. It's not going to be an easy game today. You know, this could be a potential banana skin. Barrow has signed some decent players, but I reckon we'll be able to pick up another three points today. Hopefully, another clean sheet. Hopefully, we'll make a couple of changes today and we'll see Jordan Stevens, an actual winger, start out on the wing. But it'll be interesting to see. Team News is in. Oh, it's about in about two minutes, it's going to come through any time now. So we'll have to wait and see what the team news is like. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let's get on with today's video. Here we have it then. Team news is now out and once again our starting 11 is completely unchanged. The bench is also completely unchanged apart from Andy Cook has come in for Ruman Borel. I would have liked to see if anyone was going to get dropped, maybe Donaldson. Not necessarily dropped, but Cook I would say is a better player than Donaldson. They're similar players and I think Ruman Borel offers us something different whereas now we've got two out and out strikers on the bench so I think it's a bit pointless having them both on the bench and let's be honest if anyone is going to come on it is going to be Andy Cook but I would have liked to see uh, Jordan Stevens start over Billy Clark but I can't really complain you know we've we won against uh, Southend on Tuesday so you can't really complain but yeah I would have liked to have seen Jordan Stevens start in my opinion but yeah that's the team Former Bantams, Chris Taylor and Jamie Devitt are both on the bench for Barrow today. I can't remember if Chris Taylor was on the bench when we played them a couple of months ago. But uh, obviously, Jamie Devitt wasn't with them then. They have made some good signings. You know, it's not going to be an easy game. Oliver Banks and Scott Quigley. I know, obviously, Quigley's been there quite a while. But Banks, in particular, he's a decent little player. So it's going to be a bit of a tough game today. But I'm going to stick with my 2 now. Billy Clark on the ball on the right hand side goes past number five, gets a ball in, and we've got a corner inside the opening two minutes here. Decent start from the Bantams. We, you know, we are only one and a half minutes in, but you know we've started pretty well. Corner ball in for the Bantams. It'll be the right foot out swinger of Elliot Watt to take it. It's a good ball in. Antonio Connor's there. Good save from the keeper. They couldn't quite get a good connection on that. We've definitely started the better of the two sides in the opening two minutes here. Let's hope we can keep it up. Oh my God! <laughs> He's, he's unreal. He's unreal. He's unreal. I was literally just talking to my dad about John Parkin and Danny Rowe has just done a Danny Rowe. For some reason, I didn't get a tweet come through from Simon Parker. I usually do when we score because that's when I, when I know how to record. But as soon as Danny Rowe gets the ball, you just know magic's going to happen. I don't know if you'll be able to see this because I can't actually show it properly because, well, I can't actually see the screen. But Danny Rowe, he cuts away from his man who slips. Danny Rowe on the left foot, slots it into the back of the net. Five minutes in, one that we need an early goal against these. Especially with how they're going to play. If they're going to sit with nine, ten men behind the ball the whole game, we need an early goal. And that's what we've got. Danny Rowe with the goal. That came as a complete total surprise. I didn't expect us to score there because the tweet didn't come through for some reason. Well, anyway, we're five minutes in. We're one nil. Let's go. Let's let's keep this up. Danny Rowe, he's scored again. He, he's he's a god. He's an absolute god. Build him a statue already. Callum Cook. Oh my god, Callum Cook's had another good chance there to double our lead, but he's put it straight at the goalkeeper. It's a good chance that for the Bantams. It kind of just came out of nowhere. It was a bit of an aimless long ball forward. Cook did well to control it and get a shot off. Unfortunately, it was straight out of keeper. Still 1 0. Elliot Watt. Oh my god. Elliot Watt just played an unreal pass after some great play. Played it through to Callum Cook. I mean, he was offside. He didn't score anyway. Chip tried to chip it, but it hit the keeper. But that ball from Elliot Watt, showing what he can do. He's just so good on the ball. Free kick for Barrow, just inside our half. Floated in towards the back post. Flicked on by Barrow. That'll roll out for a goal kick. Barrow on the attack here. Number 25. It's out on the left-hand side with Barrow. Ball comes into the box. Defended well by the Bantams. Eh? What? I'm not too sure what for, but the referee's given a penalty and he's booked Antonio O'Connor. And Barrow have got a penalty? I really don't know what for there. They both had the arms around each other. And Barrow have been awarded a penalty. The ball came into the box. They both got their arms. Both, like, if anything, that's a foul to us. And referee has awarded a penalty. 
That's, yeah, that's nonsense. That nonsense. That is shocking, that from the referee. Penalty for Barrow. Never a penalty, in my opinion. And he sends Hornby the wrong way. I don't know if that's just me being biased, but... Quigley equalises. It's never a penalty, is that? They both had their arms around each other. If, if anything, it's a foul to us. Shocking that from the referee and Barrow equalise. Once again, it feels like the exact same to the game against Southend. We scored pretty early on, and then we just sit back. It's like we, we think the game's already won. I mean, I don't think that's a penalty in my opinion. I might just be being biased, but we've sat back. Barrow have had many other chances to score. They've hit the post. You know, they had that one where they rounded the keeper. So they definitely deserve the goal, but it's just annoying in the fashion that it's come. And the, the fact that it's a penalty, like, there was no need for Anthony O'Connor to be holding him. Yes, their striker is also holding him, so it's just like the same thing. But I bet if it were the, were the other way around, it's never a pen, but it is what it is. Seven minutes till half time, 1-1. One, one. So we've got a free kick about 35, 40 yards out. It's only going to be one man to take it. Danny Rowe, uh, he's going to try to find the top corner here. This is either going to go into the back of the net or into the wall. Into the wall is the correct answer. Half time at Valley Parade, Bradford City won Barrow one. We started well in the opening five minutes or so. We got the goal and then we've just sat back. It's, we're playing very similar to how we played under Stuart McCall and that is n not a good thing. We got the goal, we just sat back since then. It's not been great. The penalty was very, very soft. Simon Parker has also tweeted out saying that it, you know, it was a very soft penalty. I don't know how it's been given. If both of them have got the hands on each other, then it should just, you know, play should just continue and it should just be ignored because it, it's not a foul in my opinion for I either way, but both players have got their hands on each other, so I don't understand how it's a penalty. Frustrating, but Barrow have definitely deserved to get a goal. They've hit the post, obviously they had a chance where they rounded the keeper. You know, they, they deserve to be level. They've been the better team in the first half. We need to get Truman and Sellers in that changing room and have a go at them because it was a I wouldn't say we've even played that bad. We just want very good going forward. I think we need to get Stevens on, a bit of pace in this team because Barrow, they're just sitting with a eight, nine men behind the ball and we can't find that killer ball to break them down. So we need to get a bit of pace on, change it up, try to go a bit more direct. But yeah, half time, 1 1. Hopefully we can change it up in the second half. We are underway for the second half. I followed missed the kickoff for the second half, but we are underway. I don't think we've made any changes, but if we're still playing like this in five, ten minutes, we definitely need to make changes because it's not been a good game so far for the Bantams. And a lot of people on Twitter have been saying the same thing. A lot of bad habits seem to be creeping back in. Paddy O'Connor hammers the ball long, and Danny Rose going to chase it. He's done well there. It's fallen to Callum Cook. Plays it out wide here to Gareth Evans on his left-hand side. Goes past his man. He cuts it back. Callum Cook! Yes! Get in there! Callum Cook puts us back in front. Great finish that from Cook. Great play from Gareth Evans. And Callum Cook is back on the score sheet once again. He got a couple of assists in midweek. And he's got a goal in this game here. Four minutes into the second half. We're back in front. Great play that from the Bantams. It was kind of an aimless hoof. But it's worked out in the end. Cook does very well here to play it into Evans. He does well on the left-hand side to go past his man. Kept calm. Found the Callum Cook in the box. Unmarked. And he finds the back of the net. We're back in front. That's what we needed. We can't sit back now. There's no point sitting back. We've scored again in the opening five minutes of this half as well. We can't sit back. We need to keep going now and get some more. Because if we sit back, Barrow will just score like what they did last time. We're back in front. Thank God. Billy Clark's on the attack here. He plays into Danny Rowe who... Can't get on the end of it it's a poor ball from Billy Clark. 63 minutes played. I think it's time to get Jordan Stevens on. Former Bantam, Jamie Devitt has now come on the pitch for Barrow. It looks like Jordan Stevens is also going to be coming on for Bradford. Substitution for the Bantams. Billy Clark has come off with an injury. Kean Scales has come on the pitch for the final two and a half minutes or so. It doesn't look good for Billy Clark. I'm not sure if it was hamstring or his knee. But it looks pretty painful. Two and a half minutes to go here to hold out, plus obviously stoppage time. But we're still winning 2-1 here, we're holding on. One minute left on the clock. Barrow have got a free kick. One of, probably one of their final chances to put the ball in our box here. Ball comes into the box. It's flicked on. Oh my god, it's cleared off the line, barely at what? Jesus, that was close. We're nearly a full minute over the four I did on. I know it's meant to be a minimum, but in this four minutes, there's not been barely any stoppages. I think we're trying to make a sub, but surely the referee is going to blow his whistle any time now. We've still got it. We are now a minute over the time we're meant to play. Barrow coming again here with this number 11. 
Yes, there we have it. That is full time. Another three points. The Truman and Seller show continues. Five wins and three draws in our past eight games. Since they came in, eight undefeated now. Great play once again. It wasn't the greatest performance, I'm not going to lie to you, but it's another three points on the board. Three points closer to the playoffs. But that is where I am going to leave today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like would be massively appreciated. Let's try and go for 70 likes. As I said at the start of the video, that would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. I am trying to hit 5,000 before the end of the season. Thank God we managed to pick up another three points. This could have been a bit of a banana skin, but we've managed to get the three points. We move on to... I don't know if we've got a game on Tuesday. Either Tuesday or Saturday. I'm not too sure when the next game is, but I know our fixture running now is pretty difficult, so it's crucial that we got the three points on Tuesday and again today. My man of the match, I'd probably give it to Elliot what I thought you were outstanding once again. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.